Hello and welcome to Signature TV News Highlights for this Tuesday. I am Marvelous Obomman. The federal government on Monday insisted Nigeria is yet to record a case of the Omicron variant of the COVID-19, despite the Canadian authorities claiming that two passengers from Nigeria had tested positive. Speaking at the Presidential Steering Committee briefing in Abuja, Director General of the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, Ifedayo Adetifara, said there was no need to give in to speculations. The Minister of Health, Osage Enhanire, also said authorities were adopting a watchful and waiting posture. There was a palpable tension in Aramoko, Ekiti, Ekiti West local government area of Ekiti State on Monday as a policeman and a special marshal of the Federal Road Safety Corps were shot dead on Monday evening when armed robbers attacked a branch of an old generation bank located in the community. An eyewitness revealed to newsmen in Adoikiti on Monday that the armed robbers who entered the town through Igede Adoikiti Road got to the bank after working hours and blew off the main door with an explosive mechanism suspected to be dynamite to get entry into the banking hall, also affecting shops and houses in that area. After the operation, which lasted for close to 30 minutes, the armed robbers escaped through the newly constructed Erigion Ikogosi Road. The spokesman of the Kiti State Police Command, Sunday Abutu, confirmed that two persons were killed in the robbery attack. <laughs> The federal government has said it will carry out a health audit of the Ogoni people in River State to ascertain the effect of prolonged exposure to hydrocarbon on them. Also, it said Ogoni youths will be engaged in an environmental surveillance to protect all impacted sites being cleaned up by the hydrocarbon pollution remediation project in the area. The Minister of State for Environment, Sharon Ikazo, said this during a one-day stakeholder engagement program in the cleanup of Ogoni land held in Bori, Kana local government area of River State. She assured that the Minister of Environment will continue to engage the people of Ogoni and their communities while also appealing for collaboration with all stakeholders to ensure the cleanup was a success. The Southeast Amalgamated Market Traders Association, CIMATA, on Monday rejected the recent increase in the import duty on cargoes charged by Nigeria Customs Service. It said the increment was not calculated based on invoice value of consignments and were targeted at crushing Igbo businesses. CIMATA, in a statement signed by its President General and Secretary General, Chief Gozie Akudolu and Alex Okudere, respectively, said the customs had introduced a method of working out import duty payment on goods and set out a particular minimum amount payable for each 40 feet container but had jettisoned it. The appeal to the Honorable Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning to prevail on the Nigerian customs to suspend the exercise to save the Nigerian citizens from further economic hardships as further economic pains that follow such situations could lead to social unrest. <laughs> Lionel Messi won the Men's Ballon d'Or award for a record extending seventh time at a ceremony in Paris on Monday. Messi won the last edition of the Ballon d'Or in 2019 before last year's award were cancelled due to the pandemic. He also won in 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012 and in 2015. The 34-year-old scored 38 goals in 48 games last season for Barcelona and won the Copa del Rey before captaining Argentina to Copa America glory in July. Bravo. Lionel Messi. A vence Lionel Messi. A, a celebrar, quiero... A więc oczywiście a, wszyscy będziemy a, razem a, świętować. Un honor para mí pelear con él. Creo que, que te merece tu balón de oro, que el año pasado... Todo el mundo Ale uważam, że ty, Robert, zasłużyłeś na złotą piłkę w zeszłym roku. Była pandemia, ale uważam, że ty też powinieneś mieć tę nagrodę u siebie w domu. To pozwolą Państwo, że powiem z Polski. Pierwsze miejsce Robert Lewandowski, tak głosowałem. Na drugim miejscu Jorginie, na trzecim Messi. Ale globalne wyniki 180 elektorów znamy. No i to jest siódma złota piłka dla Lionela Messiego. Luis Suarez, jego przyjaciel, wręcza mu nagrodę. Copa America na całym świecie odbiła się bardzo wielkim echem. Zwycięstwo, w końcu złoty medal dla Argentyny dzięki Messiemu. To miało kapitalne, kluczowe znaczenie. My, owszem, na pewno gorzka pigułka dla Lewandowskiego, ale z drugiej strony wielki, gigantyczny sukces, drugie miejsce.
Szalony rok, jesteś teraz w Paryżu. No, to, to, co najcenniejsze udało mi się zdobyć w czerwcu dla... To jest wymowne. Safety and security begin with you. Be patriotic. Report any suspicious activity to law enforcement agencies. Please stay safe. That's the Signature TV news highlight. For details, visit www.signaturetv.org. And please do join us later in the evening for Signature TV news update. On behalf of my producer, Anita Eze, thanks for watching. I am Marvelous Obomano.